Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Actus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Kara Art App. Before we start, hurry up and check out Hey Silver just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you use Kara App here, or in this case, what is the Kara App here? Well, the thing here is we need to open it up first here and view the actual app. So, if you're not aware yet, Kara is an app for us to basically start sharing our uh, art here. So basically, it's an app for artists and for artists, or in this case, a social media or an Instagram version for artists. So in this case, this is a great platform to start sharing your, or in this case, your images, your artwork. So if you want to connect with different artists or view different artists, well, in this case, you could use Kara here. Also, the great thing about the Kara app here or the platform itself is they actually filter out AI generated content or in this case artwork, which is a great way to basically uh, know if someone is a real actress, artist. So basically, it actually filters out or in this case filters who are not real artists here and basically keeping the uh, actual platform really legit. So in this case, you you know if someone is a real artist. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to install the Kara app here. But once you've installed that, click on open here and we want to sign up. In this case, you could sign up via your email here or you could either use your already existing Google account or Apple account. So I want to use my Google account here. And from here, let's go and choose our email. And what we need to do next is we just need to wait for it to complete. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose a few things. So first is our login email, our display name, username, and a bio. So we also have the default view for our profile here and the invite code if you've received any. So this case is going to fill out all the details here. Now once you hit on save, this is the next thing that you'll see. So in this case, it's going to say thank you for joining our beta. So in this case, you could set or in this case, use the home feed settings here if you want or even, even use the search bar and explore or even find and follow people, you know, in this platform. So in this case, you can go and start using the platform itself. So how do we start using it? So first, let's discuss the different items or different icons that you see at the very bottom here. So first is we have our home page. So our homepage here actually allows us to basically view or immediately view the uh, what is currently happening. So for example, if you followed someone, you should be able to see the latest post uh, in this homepage. Now also in the homepage, you have our tree bar icon at the top right, which actually allows us to view additional things in our account, like bookmarks, if you want to invite friends, or even use Glaze if you want to, if you want to view blog or jobs, or in this case, your settings. So later on, we'll be discussing that. Now also from the homepage, you also have the capability to basically start posting something. So let's just click on the what's happening at the very top here, and you can add like around 5,000 words on this post there. But in this case, let's go and click on the image icon that you see just below it. And from here, you have the option to choose an image. Let's go and click on add. Now from here, it's going to say add portfolio. So in this case, you need to check your portfolio display posts in your uh, portfolio. And also, NSFW images and AR portfolio images are not allowed. So make sure that you understand that. But for now, let's go and click on got it. Now from here, what we need to do is we could just basically change a few things here. Like for example, if you want to add your uh, image here, if you want to include this to your portfolio, or in this case, uh, you could basically change a few things like the title, the uh, field medium here, the project type, the category. So if you want to add this to your portfolio. Now also, if you click on the actual image, you have the option to change the thumbnail itself. So for example, if you want to move or in this case, only show a specific section of your image here as a thumbnail, you could do that by zooming in, zooming out or moving things around. Now in this case, you could also scale, rotate if you want. So yeah, so this is a great way for you to basically set your thumbnail. Let's go and click on the check at the top right to set our thumbnail. Now, in this case, you could go and just click on post here to post your, in this case, your artwork or whatever you want to post here. But once you've posted that, you should be able to see it in your account. As you can see, we have now our post. Now, in this case, what are the other things that we could do here? So we also have the search uh, section here, which in this case allows you to search for different artworks or different artists. So as you can see, there's a lot of this uh, post here that we could actually view. So for example, let's go and view this one. And in this case, this is uh, his or her artwork, which is something really cool. So if you want to view further what they are working on right now, you could go and click on their name here. And basically, you could just start following them. So since uh, his or her account is a pretty cool, good, really great art here, let's go and click on follow here. And basically, we just started following. 
Now, in this case, you can also message them if you want. So, in this case, uh, if you want to tell them, hey, you're doing a great job, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to only view the people that you are following, you go to the following section. Home here would actually allow you to customize further. So this is more about your content and different people that you, uh, uh, the suggested for you. Yeah, following is only the only people that you're currently following that will appear here. We also have our latest here, which in this case, uh, the latest uh, things that you might want to, or the latest discussions happening right now. So if you want to know about those, you could also click on the gear icon here and change a few things like for example how your feed will look like like for example uh like 70 percent of the people you follow 30 percent for your your net your, your follow network or in this case the car side uh, site wide option so in this case if you want to increase this like for example let's go ahead and make this like 10 percent this one is around like just 30 percent and maybe this one is 60 percent now you could go and click on save here and as you can see, we just save this. So if you want to change how I edit your home feed is going to look like, you could go ahead and do that by your settings. Now, also you have our mess direct messages section, which allows us to view or manage our messages. So if, if someone actually messages you within the platform itself, they will, or in this case, you will be able to see it in here. Or you could also reply to them via this section here. So yeah, you could also change a few things. Like for example, if you want to change your message preferences so click on the gear icon at top left here so in this case uh, you can allow messages from everyone users you follow or in this case if you don't want to receive any messages you could choose no one also have the top right here again like what we discussed before also have the notifications here so for example if someone actually mentions you qr meet so anything that will that you need attention from you this is where you will be able to see it you also have your profile at the bottom right here, so if you want to view them. So as you can see, the actual look itself is pretty similar to Instagram. So it's quite, or the feeling itself is quite uh, similar. So you won't get lost within the app itself, which is something really cool that they leverage in. Because again, a familiar familiarity is something that people want on different apps. So we also have the portfolio here, which is our portfolio. So what we have right now on our account. We also have our timelines here. If you've like for for example posted something in your account, this is where it's going to appear. Now about here is anything about yourself. So if you're available full time, part time, and also your likes, like different posts that you've liked before. And you could also view your following list here if you want, if you click on following and the followers is the people that actually is following you. Now, if you click on edit profile here, you have the option to change your information. Like for example, your website, your bio, and how your profile view settings is set up, and your invite code, which is optional if you want to use that. And you also have the option to basically uh, see muted users. So if you want to view them, even block users if you want if you've blocked someone before, and even close your account just in case you don't want to use your account anymore. You could even change your avatar here if you want. Now, in this case, uh, how do we use uh, the three dot icon here? So, three dot icon here to see that next to the edit profile allows you to copy the link to your profile or edit your portfolio albums or the order portfolio if you want to, or even change the profile page display. Now, in this case, the three bar icon at the top right now actually allows us to see bookmarks. So, if you bookmark something, yeah, this is where history you'll be able to see it now, if you want to invite your friends in the platform you could choose the invite here so in this case uh it's just going to say invite your friends to kara so you currently have the community account on kara to invite a friend you need a portfolio account so you need to change to your portfolio account in order for you to use this now also you can use glaze which is a good way for you to protect your account uh, from ai so we all know that ai is getting strong right now and uh ai generated art is being a trend right now so if you want to protect your uh account from that you could use glaze so by the way we actually have a tutorial for how to use glaze so make sure to check out our channel now in this case we also have the blog here so if you want to go to blog.car.com and view different blogs here we also have the jobs option here which in this case find jobs on Kara. so if you want to uh, get the job uh, you could go ahead and get it and or in this case apply for it in this section here now, in this case, uh, we also have the help and FAQs just in case you're having problems. You can even log out in here or you could also change your settings. Like, for example, system information, your push notification, how you want to inter interact. Like for example, what uh, information or notifications you want to receive. You could disable a few things here if you want. You could also edit your profile here in this section and system information if you want to view it more. 
But yeah, so in this case, those are the basics on how to use Kara here. Now, by the way, just give you an idea here. I'm going to one of the users I followed before. So if you want to basically mute a user here or in this case, support them or block them just in case something bad happened or if you experience something inappropriate, you could basically click on the three dot icon next to the message icon here and basically report them. But then again, this for just extreme cases if you want to, but yeah. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.